something that I've always enjoyed doing as a young person uh, was working with young children. So I decided to look into the field of child development and I like, you know what, this is what I really truly enjoy doing. I have a passion for that. And have you been getting your moms and dad involved in the week of the young child? Yeah. Going into it, I knew there was not um, a profession where you get rich. That wasn't important to me. What was important to me was being in a career where I was happy, being satisfied, and being also being able to have those. And so that's how I got into the field of early childhood education because of the fact that the passion that I have for the young children. This program itself has just been a blessing for me as a whole. Um, it, it has made me a better person, a better director, and I always say that, uh, especially with early hands thought, I always say that, man, I thought I was a good director <laughs> until I became partners with early head start. And early head had, had, had so it's only enhanced me as um, a director, my program, and my teachers. support for me as a mom because I can work too while they are here and I know they are in good hands. Um, her social skills are really good because at home then we just stay inside usually all the time and she's very smart she knows how to write her name she is very lovable she's creative so I really appreciate the help about the program. I feel pretty confident the, the way that I can provide for my own kids that I don't need like a lot of people help me for my family and it's very crucial because if I have to afford for like if I have to pay for a child care it will be too expensive for me I can't afford it so thanks to early head start I can be working and use the money for things that I really need to use it too. I've got five children, so I've, all my children have actually come through the program. So, and my oldest, he'll be 16, and he was here from the age of four, so we've actually been here for quite some time. Yeah, so I just, I love the environment, I love the teachers, I love the whole aspect of uh, what the Early Learning Center, you know, delivers to us. It opened windows for them on the developmental part of it, um, their social interactions, their mental capacity, their emotional, you know, gains. They are more able to express themselves, you know, they have that opportunity in a nurturing environment to be, you know, um, who they are. I have private paying families and I have families that um, that pays a subsidy, you know, that has programs that help them with their child care. And so when they come in, we treat every child the same regardless. And I have to make sure that teachers understand that, that cultural awareness that every child has the same need, regardless of where they come from, regardless of their social economic background. <laughs> I like to out. You do? My favorite food is green beans. I tried other stuff, but I haven't found as much joy as it is to work with children. Um, they give you undeniable love that that reaches to the I'm sorry, <laughs> to the um the pit of your stomach. And um, when you look into their eyes and see how needy they are and um, how much they want to give, you just can't help but reciprocate that and give it back. And, um, and that wakes me up every morning to come here and um, to care for children. I love to work with the neediest of needy. And, um, that's truly my passion. 
lot of people say, how can you get so much joy out of working for zero to three? But I'm like, why not? Why not? This is the stepping stones. This is their foundation. Why not tap into that? This is the most critical point of their lives. I've had families uh, not of this program here that I work with um, in my present, in my past career, that was recovering addicts. When it's so fit for me to leave that program to start my own business, a lot of those families followed me. I was able to save a lot of those families and some that were not because of circumstances. So I think it's very crucial that we have programs, and I'm not the only program in Mecklenburg County that works with families that can't afford high quality care. But because of places and organizations like Child Care Resources and Smart Start, that has enabled me, allowed me to provide high quality care for families that otherwise could not be able to afford to pay for it.